Hi, Leo. My beautiful Leos. Let's see if we can get a message from your person. We're going to leave the conversation open in this reading for your person to share anything that's on their heart or mind. Just anything they want to talk about. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, check out your other sign position. Sometimes your moon, your rising, or Venus sign will resonate a little bit better for you. If those don't, check out the extra wild card reading that I do. I may have picked up your energy in that one. Let's go ahead and see who's coming through and what they want to talk about. First cards is their perception of you, your energy through their eyes, how they're perceiving you right now. Ooh, number 32, yearning for the past, reminiscing going back over the past. We've got 32, 3, 2, and it goes to a 5. The fun house of astrology, the creative house, communications, and Taurus energy. Mm. You de they're definitely perceiving you as maybe you're you're going longing for something from the past. Longing that can even be longing for your youthful self from the past. So yeah, I don't know. Energy between us, <clears throat> twenty five, a two, a five, seven partnership, emotional energy. Emotions are messages to. Hold on, guys. Y'all know I cannot see without the granny glasses. Mm -hmm. Okay. Emotions are messengers to be met with appropriate attention, action, and gratitude. Oh. I love that image. I love the colors. Wow. Emotional energy. So, we've got some emotional energy going on. Gratitude. Uh, grateful. Popped. That word popped for me. So, yeah, let's see your person's energy. Oh, bam. <laughs> Are we in likeness? Are we in likeness? Oh, my goodness. What have we got going on here? So, they, they're looking at you as if you're remembering the past, longing for the past, yearning for the past, something from the past. And what are they doing? They're reminiscing going back over the past. Ah, no wonder we've got some emotions going on here. We've got more than likely someone from our past coming forward. Mmm... This could be, yeah, X, something like that. Uh, the fact that we're bo both in this energy uh, is definitely not someone we're with right now. It's, so, it's you know, someone from the past. Let's go ahead and pull the tarot. We're using steampunk tarot. See your energy. First card, two of wands, the young emperor energy. Mmm. Yeah, uh, the Two of Wands has us standing on the threshold of moving forward, but it's a paused mode. Has us standing and, and going back over past, for real. And uh, considering the things that worked for us, what didn't work for us, that kind of thing, can have us in a reminiscing mode, for real. Energy between us. The magician, what kind of magic did we create back then? What did we do back then together? Hmm, let's find out. Uh, their energy. Eight of Wands, momentum, fast moving stuff. We're going to hold that energy to get more clarity on it. Coming back to you on that Two of Wands. King of Pentacles, a Taurus, Taurus energy. Hang on to that one. Energy between us. Oh, Eight of Cups. What magic did we create together but frustration for each other? Oh. Yeah. We, we, it, that's basically what that magician, uh, some of the emotions that are coming up for your person and remembering going back over the past is that you created a lot of frustration for each other so yeah on their eight of wands six of swords ow the breakup 
uh, the relationship and the breakup, the moving away from each other. Six of Swords has us moving, moving away from the storm. It happened fast. Your person is like, the relationship went fast. The breakup went fast. Everything just went too fast. Yeah. No. The next energy under your King of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Oh. Oh. That was, yeah, that's I mean, like really what we created together. We had hopes. We had a lot of hopes for this connection, for this person and this relationship. The Three of Pentacles is about laying a blueprint, working together. It's teamwork where you're working to build and manifest together. But it's also cluing me into some of what was going on from your side. Uh, whether your person is a Taurus or not, it's, it's letting me... Uh, my guides are letting, cluing me in by using the King of Pentacles Taurus energy to let me know what's going on. And this would be classical for this kind of card, the Three of Pentacles, to jump right afterwards because your person did not give you enough attention or recognition for things. Mm -hmm. And while you were in that connection, there was a lot that you weren't getting on a personal level that you truly needed in that connection, and they just weren't there for you. It's also let me know, like I said, your person, whether they are Taurus or not, it's letting me know the energy. Uh, but the fact we're using a Taurus with a Leo energy, that's some stubborn energy. That's like banging heads together. Nobody wants to give an inch that kind of thing so yeah it's uh, uh being in a connection where nobody feels like making a compromise you you make the compromise and you're like no you can you give an inch and that kind of thing and till we reach a point that neither one of us give that inch neither one of us are willing to uh give in i don't know how else to put that energy between us on that eight of cups Oh, six of wands, that's definitely letting me know because it's popped right beside the three of pentacles. Your person um, didn't give you a lot of attention. Uh, the attention that they did give was making you feel bad about yourself. Um, just, you know, was down, down in your energy. I don't know how else to put it. Uh, instead of them... Uh, how do I put it? Looking at your best qualities, they would have been pointing out your worst flaws. Yeah, that kind of thing. So, hmm. They didn't understand my Leo at all, did they? Hmm. Next energy under theirs, under that Six of Swords. Oh, boom. King of Swords. Aquarius energy. Now we have even more complicated energy because that is definitely representing your person's energies uh, on their part, what energy they brought into the connection, whether it's their signs or not. Aquarius energy and Taurus energy. How does that fly with uh, my Leo's energies? Not good. Not good, because this is stubborn energy clashing against you, not giving you a lot of attention. And this one especially it does not give you a lot of attention. And the attention you do get from an Aquarius is going to be cut and dry on your feelings. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of criticism, sarcasm, uh, caustic kind of humor, uh, joking that, you know, really cuts deep. That kind of thing. So, yeah, we had a, a rough connection with this person. But your person is saying, when them reminiscing back, um, it went too fast. It went too fast. So, yeah. I don't know if that's regret on their part. I'm sort of sensing like they, they have it in, you know, swirling in their heart and mind that maybe if you... The two of you had had more time to work through some of the challenges that things could have been different. So I don't know. Let's go ahead and pull the uh, Heaven and Earth Tarot. These are going to be what's laying heavy on your person's heart. Their desires, their true desires in this connection. Let's see what we're getting. 
Ow! Ooh, king of Swords. We got a King of Swords. Aquarius energy again. What else? Not possible. King of Pentacles. Ow! Bam! Your person is talking clear in this reading. Ow! Because they're and they are representing their self. The energy they brought into your connection as that King of Swords. And the King of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Next one. The Chariot card. Cancer energy. Getting direction for... Oh. Our, chari our Chariot, a lot of times, is about getting opposing forces. Opposing forces to flow together and work together. Oh, that's what I was saying. I was... Your person seems to have it swirling in their mind. If you... If y'all had just given it more time, maybe you could have worked it out. Next one. Ah, Queen of Swords. Yep. Yep. Uh, their, their own energy. They're saying their own energy and their unwillingness at the time to make compromises, to try and work things out. Instead of moving things along too fast, cutting off too fast is what... Uh, turned you away from them. Yeah. Because our Queen of Swords is like, you know, cuts through the bull crap. Um, yes, a Libra energy is, you know, she's cut and dry. Also, just like the King of Swords. Of I mean, When she's done, she's done. She doesn't allow emotions to rule over her choices and influence her decision making. And yeah, your person really turns you cold towards them because of their in, their unwillingness to open up and compromise and to give a little bit more in the connection. So, yeah. They're not really showing any kind of desire for anything other than to acknowledge their part. Their part in uh, what ruined the connection between the two of you. So, yeah. Just go ahead and pull the Romance Angel Oracles. Read the energies going across on your end. Over here, we've got passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Oh, oh that's pretty. Because that is your person hoping that your heart is happy. That you are happy. Yeah. They're wishing you happiness. That kind of thing. Uh, energy between us. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Ow. Let's hang on to that energy. I might need to clarify that one. Because that could insinuate. Mm, could insinuate. One One of us may be in a committed relationship already or married. Uh, and uh, for uh, like I said, we're re both reminiscing. Seems to be reminiscing. Something has triggered both of us to reminisce over, you know, the past uh, at the same time, which could have been running into, running into each other mm -hmm. that's triggered these memories. But one of us may already, you know, have mo you know, moved into a committed relationship. See the energy on them. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Oh, that was, attraction is what popped. The statement didn't. Um, I got a feeling we've run into each other or something like that. They, they've they seen us. It could even be they looked us up on social media and found, found, found us without actually reaching out to us. And the, it's uh, hit the attraction, that uh, chemistry button again for them. So, yeah. Oh. Let's go ahead and pull the Island Time Wellness. We're using deck number two. Reading energy is going across again. Coming in on passion. We've got a jumper. I have no clue where it jumped, y'all. We're going to take it wherever it comes. On passion, we got take a chance. Go for it. Good chance. Set your intentions for a positive outcome. You can't win if you don't play. Oh, I don't think this card is telling telling us that your person wants you to take a chance on them. I think they're wanting to tell you to go for the things that truly that you're truly passionate about because they really do want you to know you're happy and that you're chasing after your dreams and stuff. So yeah, it's like wishing you the best 
of everything coming in on wedding we've got mall crawl on the hunt retail therapy meeting at the mall oh, meeting at the mall pleasantly surprised a happy find pleasantly surprised and meeting um yeah i think your person is you need y'all might have run into each other if that's not the case they have found you or seen you without you knowing it and it has triggered them mm -hmm. but i got a feeling we know if it's resonating we you know we run into them because our energy is uh they seem to be perceiving us as going back over and longing for it too i think we got maybe we're going to take a jumper here ow friend zoned friend zone still friends just friends someone likes someone else only as a friend not relationship material Ow. yeah friends friends and i think it's your person acknowledging that the two of you just didn't play together yeah caused a you know you were creating a lot of frustration and hurt feelings um for each other in the connection. See what's coming in on them. We've got the siren. Alluring, seductive, enticing, mysterious, threatening, vindictive, rebellious. <laughs> uh, yeah, the only thing that popped is alluring, seductive, enticing, and mysterious. The other ones didn't. Yeah, because it's triggered some of the attraction. Uh, the feelings, the old feelings for them. Let's go ahead and get the messages coming on. Take a chance. Every song reminds me of you. Oh. Over here on Friend Zoned and Mall Crawl. I only, I only believe in science and facts. Yeah, friends, friends. It's like they're, they are like, I, I know we're not good for each other. But it don't stop me from feeling this attraction towards you. And yeah. Oh. Coming in on the siren. I feel. I feel there is too much competition. Ow. Too much competition. Back over here on every song reminds me of you. I keep writing and deleting messages. Yeah, they want to reach out. But at the same time, they're being realistic. I only believe in science and facts. I'm depressed. I want to put, I'm sad. I don't want to take it as far as that word will take it. I'm sad. I feel there is too much competition. Love doesn't feel like enough. Yeah, they love you. They love you, but it it's not enough. Those feelings, that attraction's not enough because your person's like really being realistic about it. Of uh, they know they hurt you, caused a lot of frustration, and they, you know, felt frustrated in the connection. Also, I keep writing and deleting messages. Don't forget about me. Oh, don't forget about me. I'm depressed. I'm wanting to say I'm sad. You're the reason I keep going. Aww. Love doesn't feel like enough. I'm in love with you. Yeah. And yeah, they're, your person's right because sometimes it's just not enough. We have to like each other also. Love and like. And love's the easy part. It's liking each other that's really hard because that's very fluid and very conditional. The like, I like you. So, yeah. And don't forget about me. I'm starting to understand our connection. Mm -hmm. Going back over it. You are the reason I keep going. Just being near you is t intoxicating. Ow, we've got a lot of chemistry, physical chemistry going on. I'm in love with you. I'm becoming a better person. Yeah. Oh. I'm starting to understand our connection. I know I messed up everything. Mm. Yeah. 
think they're taking a lot of the credit for for you know the relationship not working just being near you is intoxicating the timing just wasn't right for us I'm becoming a better person you don't know how hard it was to let you go uh, yeah I know I messed things up. I messed up everything. I lost myself for a little while. I lost myself. The timing just wasn't right for us. You and I were too young. Too young. Oh. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. I look for you everywhere. Oh. Second round, guys, coming in. Um, I lost myself for a little while. It's time to let go. It's time to let go. You and I were too young. I feel like you are so out of my reach. Yeah. I look for you everywhere. I'm hoping and praying. Yeah, they hoping and praying now. They'll, they'll always find you, run into you, see you. Yeah. Next round, it's time to let go. I regret that I took you for granted. I feel like you're so out of my reach. My heart is broken. I'm hoping and praying. I didn't realize how much I love you until it was too late. Yeah, your personal life. Things went too fast. Things went too fast. I regret that I took you for granted. I miss our friendship. Mm. Miss our friendship. My heart is broken. I'm so sorry. Didn't realize how much I love you until it was too late. Your words still linger. Yeah. Next round. I miss our friendship. I didn't follow my heart. I'm so sorry. Forgiveness. Your words still linger. I know I held you back from being all you could be. Please forgive me. I didn't follow my heart. I don't mean to take my frustration out on you. Put it in past tense. I didn't mean to take my frustrations out on you forgiveness we are on different paths now oh. I know I held you back I'm trying really hard to forget you but I can't yeah I don't I, do, I didn't mean to take my frustrations out on you reminiscing yeah yeah, the, what they're reminiscing over is their part, what they did that helped ruin, pull you apart and turn you away from them. We're on different paths. I feel you leaving me behind. Yeah. And I'm trying really hard to forget you, but I can't. I miss the good times that we shared. Oh. Okay, my Leos, the next card is I asked for your higher self to give you some advice. I also left it open for your person if they wanted uh, to say anything through these cards. So, let's see what's going on over here on you, your energy. Number 16, Melting Mask. Allow your spirit self to shine through the many roles you fulfill. Always be yourself. I think that's your person. Uh, the person that's come forward telling you always be your authentic self. Mm -hmm. No matter what. I think that made you feel like you shouldn't while you was in the connection. And that there was something, you know, wrong with you. And now they're like, you know, they see the beauty. The beauty. Coming in on the emotions, we got uh, emotional energy between us. Coming in on that one, we've got 
distorted desire. Oh, let me put my gra glasses on, guys, because this one is going to be hard for me to actually see. Conscious desire rarely satisf satisfies the unconscious need driving it. Yeah. Hmm. Distorted desire. Yeah. Over here on their energy. Oh, we've got forgiveness. 26. Hurt blocks your light. Let it go. Yeah. I think your person really hopes that you will forgive them. Because like I said, they're taking a lot, a lot of the credit for turning you away from them. So, yeah. Our lover's oracles. Here's our two images. I love them. Let's see what they say. First one. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. No. Oh. And then this one. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Mm -hmm. Trust your heart. Oh, your person really does wish you much, many blessings. Always be yourself. Follow your dreams. Chase after those dreams. Okay, my Leos, that's all I have for us, guys. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.